Hi friends, I'm Jeffy G. If you've got a two input USB or Thunderbolt interface, I found an inexpensive way to add eight more inputs. And I've got some great ideas on how you can use those 10 inputs in your home recording studio. When I started my home recording studio many years ago, I had an eight input audio interface. And along with that, I had an analog mixing board because whenever I wanted to record a drummer or a lot of different instruments, I'd put everything through the mixing board and route them to those eight inputs and then into my DAW. Well, as time went by, I upgraded my interface to an Apollo Twin X, and it has two unison preamps, which are great, and the use of the plugins is just what I wanted. But what about the mixer? What about recording drums? What about all that other stuff that I had? I looked out into the marketplace for something used and I came across this Motu 8 Pre Firewire. And the great thing about that is people are getting rid of Firewire devices really cheap. And the great thing about these Firewire devices is that you're not gonna use the Firewire interface. If it has ADAT out, you can plug that into your USB interface or your Thunderbolt interface, as long as it has ADAT in. When I got the Motu 8 Pre Ohm, I was pretty excited. I got an optical cable, plugged it into the ADAT out from the Motu, plugged it into the ADAT in on my Apollo Twin X, and then I fired up the UA console software to look at the settings, and sure enough, there they were, my eight inputs, just like I expected for a total of 10. I was pretty pleased. Consequently, I sold the mixer. Now there's a lot of FireWire devices out there, not just the Motu 8 Pre that I bought. And here's a list of a few of them. Now, if you're a beginner and you're just looking to buy an audio interface, you might want to consider those that have ADAT because that'll give you the expandability to add other devices as your needs grow. Preamps in the Motu are certainly not as good as the Unison preamps that are built into an Apollo interface. So I use the Apollo for vocals and acoustic recording generally, but the preamps in the Motu are still pretty clean and pretty good quality. So if I am recording a drummer, I'll use those. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I plug all kinds of synthesizers and other things into the combi jacks in the back of that Motu. It has 48 volt phantom power gain for each individual channel. And it sounds pretty good. I really like having everything connected. The other thing it took a while to get used to is using the UA console software. Once I got used to the routing and the flexibility, I really like it. And I, I get much more use out of that than I did out of the analog mixer that I sold. If you have a different make audio interface that you're using and it has ADAT, you can do what I did. Most of these devices do come with some mixer software. And if you read the documentation, you'll find out how many inputs it really will support. I put this video together kind of quickly because I think it's a unique approach. Look for old, Firewire devices that people are getting rid of. You can buy them cheap. If you don't have to connect it via Firewire and it has ADAT, you can still use it. A good buy. If this is the kind of information that you find useful, click on the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. There's more to come.